And when you talk about lowering cortisol, is the main, I don't, want to, I don't know if end game is the right word, but is sleep the major factor, sleep problems, insomnia, is that the big problem when you have cortisol that's, that's not regulated? You know, cortisol, when, when you have elevated cortisol, there's a number of symptoms you can have. Uh, most people acknowledge that insomnia and sleep difficulty is one of the main reasons why uh, you want to lower cortisol. And you know what? We, we see that ourselves. Individuals that have altered circadian rhythms so when, uh, of cortisol. So instead of having a high cortisol uh, in the morning when, you're, when you wake up, mm -hmm. you're supposed to lose about 50% of that level by about midday. And then it's pretty much supposed to poop out to the almost nothing in the evening. But unfortunately, in mid-stage adrenal fatigue, you start damaging these cortisol receptors that provide feedback to actually lower the cortisol. So instead of actually bottoming out and lowering at nighttime, it actually spikes up. And then, of course, <clears throat> just like with anybody, if you don't sleep well for one or two nights, what happens before, at nighttime, right before bed? You get anxious. Mm -hmm. Because now you're worried you might not sleep. And therefore, cortisol spikes. And so now taking a product to help lower cortisol can definitely help with that sleep problem. And then likewise, um, elevated cortisol can al is also a problem for a lot of behavioral issues. People who are a little too hyper during the day might have elevated cortisol. Mm -hmm. Children with attention issues often can have high cortisol, especially if they're teenagers with attention issues. Individuals with anxiousness and anxiety throughout the day their cortisol levels might be elevated. And so it's another tool to help in resetting cortisol. But of course, remember, cortisol is only the end game. There's a whole system put in place to actually trigger cortisol release, manage the stress to help reduce the, the initiation of that system. And mm -hmm. so many of these people with adrenal fatigue, yeah, they have adrenal fatigue, they have altered cortisol levels. Why? Because their neurotransmitters are out of balance, causing their nervous system to be out of balance and then to be, them to be more hyper-reactive to perceived stress. Now, I guess I'd say perceived stress because stress in itself comes in many different forms and shapes. Mm -hmm. And I myself, when I see a spider, I don't get scared by a spider. But my wife will shriek and mm -hmm. scream to the point where I think there's a home invader. Mm -hmm. And I come running in my fight and flight reaction to help her, which I end up finding help her rid the Rid, her, rid the house of a spider. So it's a perceived stress. Stress can come mm -hmm. from uh, emotional stress, physical stress, biochemical stress, uh, multitude of different places. Mm -hmm.